Good morning, I'm Sue, Sue with McGeeNews.com and I'm really excited today to be at the Medical Towers with our new pediatrician, Dr. Izzy. And you'll see why I call him Dr. Izzy in a minute. But we are glad to have him here at McGee and he services, you know, we service about a 50 to 75 mile radius of here. And again, it's, it brings something more to our hospital and to our clinics and I think we have found a fantastic pediatrician. And now I'm gonna let Dr. Izzy Say his name. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Izzy Dean Kamal Maz, and everybody call me Dr. Izzy. I actually moved from Jackson uh, area where I was doing pediatric hospitalis in Central Mississippi Medical Center and Crossgate River Oak taking care of all, all the inpatients pediatric in, in both hospital. I choose here to come because I know this area really needs uh, uh, pediatric service here and it's been for a while they haven't had a pediatric service and I like rural area because I grew up in rural area in uh, overseas actually my background is uh, my father is from Turkey and my dad my mommy is uh, from Russia and I speak all these languages I'm really glad to come here to join other doctors here and to take care of all the kids in this area which is I love all the kid, which is our future actually. I believe in uh, uh, taking care of the kid that will end it up with a healthy adult. So keeping our kid healthy, that means we are we will have very healthy new generation in our community here. So I am working here in the pediatric link at in McGee plus taking care of all the kids uh, in McGee General Hospital and uh, nursery as well and attending all C section needs to be attended. And I am glad again to be here and uh, uh, doing all these uh, work for our kids. We think you've chosen the best place in the United States to come okay. to McGee because it is a great place. But, you, but I thought it was very interesting when you were saying that the treatment of the child leads to a healthy adult. And you know, it's, it's funny, a lot of times you don't hear that as much, but um, do you, so you believe in a lot of well child, you feel like you should have well child checkups as well as sick child? Yes, I, I, I do usually, I do believe that, that we all as a physician need to focus on preventive medicine and keep all our patient even being sick if they already if they are sick to keep them away from any complication so uh, to prevent all the infectious disease on top of the list is uh, influenza which is flu and also we do have some virus bad bugs called RSV which is hits little kid which is really dangerous how we can keep our kids away or even adult from being sick from these, especially this season we started flu early. I think the key is washing hands. This is very important. We need to teach all our kids, teach ourselves first, that always we need to wash hands before we eat and after we come from out from the restroom. And always when you come from work, the first thing to do when you get home is go straight and wash your hands. Try to avoid the crowded people, try to avoid the sick uh, people as well, especially little kids. Little kid, newborn, all of this, their immune system is not matured yet to handle all these viruses. The other thing also, we need to start with all these healthy lifestyle, which is, that will help us to be away from being sick. On the top of that is eating healthy. Eating healthy is support our immune system to fight all these viruses and all these bacteria as well. That means we need to follow up all the good guidelines, eating fruit, vegetable, and uh, keeping away from all these sweet beverages. Second, exercise and moving around. And I will let you know that during the winter season, the main reason we get flu or viruses is not just because we are the cold weather, just because we don't move as much we do 
during the summer season, we all stay indoor. That the main reason maybe people, they don't recognize that's the, the reason. So moving around, doing exercise and, and uh, trying to uh, make more movement, that will help us. Third, we need to control our weight. Even kids, unfortunately, I'm seeing a lot of overweight in the pediatric group. Unfortunately, 20 to 25 percent of our kids are overweight, and two thirds of Americans are overweight. We need to do something that will turn our community healthy. Please, of course, the last thing I would do, I would say, the sleep hygiene also very important. The people who they don't get enough sleep, they stay awake late. They are they are vulnerable to get sick faster than the kid or the patient, the, the people who they get enough sleep. Please go early to the bed and walk up early and we need to be example for our kids, washing our hands and eating healthy, controlling our weight, take, uh, take steps and go walk and play with your kid please as a parent. That will help us to control, to stay our community healthy. I really believe again in all these prophylactic medicine. Your kids also need to get all the shots needs, including flu shot. Please, please, six months and older, all the kids should have flu shot. And we are already here at a, a pediatric clinic in uh, McGee to give all these shots and would come to come and to see me. <laughs> I just, listen, I'm just fascinated with all the information <laughs> you've given. And I think all of our, um, Lit, uh, our, our audience is going to be, because really what you're saying if you take a young child yes. and you raise the child really yes. kind of correctly, and, I, and that's what most parents want to do, they can make such a difference in their lifetime. Exactly. And bottom line, we are about the physical health and mental health. Following all these guidelines regarding the healthy, the healthy lifestyle is not about to keep us physically healthy. It's about to keep us mentally healthy so we can be more productive and help our nation to just to uh, try to produce more. That will help us. So, so being productive and healthy is a very important issue. I hope that if you have any problems or any needs that you will come and see Dr. Izzy here at the medical clinic and he is available to help you. He does school, yes. uh, physicals and all that type of thing. But I'm glad we've got him in McGee. I think he has wonderful theories and I'm anxious to see him see your child. Thank you so much for watching McGeeNews.com. Thank you very much for having me.